Curious man, strange alien encounter timeline. Cryptology, the time you fell or undivide, and undivide find object, the first is suspected alien spacecraft. Show craft. Their definition encompasses any unexplained aerial phenomena. UFO sightings have been reported throughout recorded history in various parts of the world, raising questions about life planets and whether extraterrestrials have visited Earth. They have become a major subject of interest and inspiration behind numerous films and books following the development of Rocky Rockery after World War II. Ancient aliens, the theories of proofs do not, not fit in a mosaic of traditional archaeology. Nevertheless, one thing is certain. It's sometimes inconsistent about our past, the past that lies thousands of millions of years behind us. The past seemed unknown gods who visited the primeval Earth in manned spaceships. Dickerian XX 1000, 1-5000 BCE Pharaoh Tutmos in second, third in Egypt. The Pharaoh Tutmos third sees silent, foul-smelling circles of fire and flying discs in the sky. Eight hundred CE Peru aerial landing strips are built in the Peruvian Andes. Three five nine three two nine BCE Alexander the Great. Via his historians told of two strange objects in the sky, dove repeatedly, they drove repeatedly at his army as they were attempting the river crossing, the Jaraxis River. The action panicked his elephants, horses, and men. They had to be banned in the river crossing till the following day. They were described as great, giant, great silver shields spitting fire from around the rims. One seventy. BCE from Comrade Wilfart, Nefertine's medieval reporter, writer at Lithuanian, a remarkable spectacle of a fleet of ships was seen in the air. 900 BCE from Protagora of Julius of Squidius in Rome, when C. Metris and L. Veterus were consuls in Tenerime towards sunset, a round object like a globe. A round or circular shield took its path in the sky from east, west to east. 999 BCE from Patagonia of Julius Aquilius, Rome. When the sea met us and the LF is a constant in Tilgonia towards sunset, a round object like a globe, a round or circular shield. Took its path in the sky from the west to east. I might have done that one, sorry about that. 90 BCE from Portugal to Julius Aquatius, Rome, a Kirkwallia from Lithius to Tulioso, from promulgating the laws of the beginning of the Italian War. At sunrise, it became a terrific noise in the sky. A globe of fire appeared burning in the north, Charity Spadolium. A globe of light glowed in colour, fell to the earth, gravity, gra- gener- Gyrating. It seemed to increase in size, rose from the earth, and ascended into the sky, which skewered the sun with its brilliance. It resolved towards the eastern quadrant of the sky. 85 BCE from Philomai, National History Book 2, Chapter 34. The consulship ship of the Lycoris of Acris and Calis Macris, a burning shield scattering sparks, ran across the sky. 42 BCE from Podagora of Julius. Aquatic Rome, something like a sort of weapon or missile, rose with great noise from the earth and soared into the sky. Medieval Mysteries 70 CE, May 21st, from Julius, Julius War, Book CX1, on 21st of May, demonic phantom of incredible size for before sunset. There appeared in the air the whole country, chariots and armed troops coursing through the clouds surrounding the cities. 80 BCE from Conrad Wolfhart, the Corridius medieval reporter, writer, when the Roman Emperor Acolora was in Scotland, wondrous flames were seen, the skies over Cumberwood. All one 
all long winter night. Everywhere the air burned, and in many nights, when the weather was serene, a ship was seen in the air moving fast. 98 CE from Conrad Wolfhart. Like a wish of these medieval reporter writer, a sunset of burning shield passed over the city sky at Rome, it came sparkling from the west and passed over the east. 398 CE, Byzantine Rome Empire, a thing like a burning glow presenting a sword, shone brilliantly in the sky over the city, it seemed almost to touch the earth and the zenith. Such a thing was never recorded to have been seen before by man. 776 CE, from old chronicle W. R. Drake, those watching outside of that place, of whom many shall live in this day, very day, saw that held them, likeness of two large shields, reddish in colour, motion above the church. When the pagans who were outside saw this sign, they were at once thrown into confusion and terrified with fear, and began to flee from the castle. 810 CE, Shalamain, Charlemagne, St. Gregory of Tours, a historian, wrote of Charlemagne, echoing the secretary and biographer of Charlemagne. The author of Votero Corolla states in the 32nd chapter of his book that 80, in 810 he was in his way to Echorin King. We saw a large beard descend of lightning from the sky. It travelled the east to the west, so bright it made a monarch's horse rear up so the champagne fell and injured himself severely. One, two, three, five, CE. General Yusufes from was a military camp with his unit September 24th, 112, 3-5. Through the night, it was early morning lights, the sky was being seen swinging, circling, looping. General Yusufes him as some men astrologers working with him to investigate this had come up with Perhaps the first explanation offered for UFOs, the whole thing is completely natural. General, it's only the wind making the stars sway. 1239 CE, England, from Matthew of Paris, O. Oh, on July 24th, 1239, at dusk, but not the, but when not when the stars came out, while the air was clear, serene and shining, a giant star appeared, it was like a torch rising over the south and flying on the smooth sides of it. He admitted the height of the sky, a very light night light. It turned quickly towards the north of the in an airy region, but quickly not indeed nor indeed with speed but exactly as it wished to ascend a place high in the air. Twelve thirty fifty four CE Johnny first from Matthew de Par- of Paris. A midnight the clear and serene sky with stars shining on the moon eight days old. When there suddenly appeared in the sky a kind of large ship, agitably shaped, and well quick and marvellous colour. So the monks of St. Albans saw it was for a long time, and it was if it painted a ship made of planks, but finally it began to disappear. 1290 CE, Byland, North Yorkshire, from William of Neverbirds, Chronicle, while abbots and monks were in reflection. A round shape, flat round shining silver object flew over the abbey and caused us almost utmost terror. Thirteen thirty two CE Alexbridge, November fourth from Robert of Reading. In the first hours of the night there was seen in the skies a rocks which England, a pillar of fire the size of a boat small boat, lived livid in colour. It rose from the south, crossed the sky with a slow, grave motion, and went south went north. Out of, the, out of the front of the pillar, fervent red flame burst forth of great beams of light and speed increased it, flew from the air. Pre modern accounts, 1350 CE to 1990 CE. Well, of all the two, CE, October 11th, 10 p.m., on the life and voyages of Christopher Columbus. Columbus Christopher Columbus and Pedro Garcia, on the deck of the Santa Maria, observed a light glimmering in a sudden great distance. It vanished, repeated several minutes, times, during the night. 
moving up and down in sudden and passing gleams. It sighted four hours before land. It was sighted and taken by Columbus as a sign it would soon come to land. 1528, siege of Akakot in Holland. A cool and strange light was seen in the sky, which terrified the townsfolk and made the enemy think he could get the city. The former but Gundrian's cross right over the city, high in the sky, yellow in colour, and fearful to behold. 1554, March 10, France. There appeared between eight, 6 and 8 p.m. about the moon of burning and fire, emitting great noise that seemed to be point of a lance, turning it from side to side, from east to west, casting out flames on all sides. 1643, March 11th, England from Diodorus. John Elevin, I must not forget what amazed us exceedingly that night before, namely a shining cloud in the air, its shape resembling a sword, the point receiving, reaching the north, as bright as a moon, rest the sky, it being very serene, it began about eleven at night, and vanished not till about one, being seen by all the south of England. 1742, December 16th. From an account of a fellow of Royal Society England, I was crossing St. James Park when a light rose from behind the trees and houses from the south and west, which at first I thought was a rocket of large size. But when it, then it rose 20 degrees, it moved parallel to the horizon, but waved like this. This the speaker drew an undulating line and went to the direction north to east. It appeared, seemed very near, and its motion was very slow. I had a handful of about half a mile in view. A light, light flame was turned backwards by the resistance of the air made to it. For one a burning charcoal, for one a burning charcoal. The end of it was a flame like bars of iron, and quite a peak in its in my sight. At one point, the gilded frame of cylinder it tr- issued a train in the shape of a tower of light made bright. At one point, in the rods of cylinders of a cylinder or cylinder. So that it was transparent for more than half its length, the head of its strange object seemed about half a degree diameter and tall, nearly three degrees in length. 1700s, United States Indies, in the US, there is an 18th century Indian legend that about luminous humanoid beings who paralyzed people with small tube. In variations of their tales, alien women, Indian women, were said to have been married a couple, these star people. France, 19, 1790. During the summer, police suspect a of left half breath. Witness and investigate a large red globe that oh, flew over farmland. The globe landed and a man came out, spoke in a language none understood. The globe then exploded and the man disappeared. The event was witnessed by many and is well documented. 1870. From the log of Count of Ship's Captain F. W. Banner. The sailors saw a remarkable object in the sky, cloud in the sky. It was a cloud of circular form and it included semicircle divided four parts, central dividing shaft, beginning the centre of a circle and extending far outward and then cir- curving backward. The thing travelled from 20 degrees above the horizon to a point of 80 degrees above. Then it settled down to the northwest, which appeared from the south southwest. It came out obliquely against the wind and finally settled down the wind's eye for half an hour this form was visible then it finally did disappear 1878 flying saucers a term saucer used by Texan Mexican farmer to describe the object seen of his farm the tower was popularized in 1948 when Kenneth Arnold saw formation of objects when the, over the Castellan mountains of Washington state and described them as moving like a saucer. Would, it, would if you skip it across the water? It means as by the local porter to coin the term flying like saucer. Persian Gulf, 1880. Members of the crew of the British Indian Company steamship Papinna witnessed two large and enormous wheels which is estimated to 500 600 metres diameter. These wheels were spinning one on each other side of the ship and spoke touching the ship. The sighting lasted 20 minutes and witnessed by Captain Evan, 3rd Officer Manning and Lee Fort Brace. Mexico, 1883.
This sighting is the first photograph of the Earth sighting at Zacharias Observatory, just a V. Bologna, sighted several hundred disks like objects crossing the sun. Similar Earth sightings occurred the following day. China, 1893, North China Sea. In February 1893, the ship HMS Caroline was sailing North China Sea when a report from an officer Unusual light activity in the sky came to touch from Captain J. N. Nocross. The officer told Captain Nocross the lights appeared sometimes in huge masses, huge mass, huge mass. Others spread in unusual patterns. He said that it resembled Chinese lanterns set between the masts of the ship. Next night, these strange lights appeared. There was a reddish glow in the inhalating small amounts of smoke. 1897. Sworn statement from Alexander Hamilton. His farm at Lee Crowley, Kansas. Last night, about 10.30, we was wakened by a noise among the cattle. I rose, thinking that perhaps my bulldog was performing his pranks. But upon coming to the door, I saw my utter, to my utter astonishment, an airship was slowly descending upon my cow lot, about 40 rods from the house. Hamilton also described it as a car-shaped propulsion, about 300 feet long, with carriage underneath. The carriage was some was of some transparent material it was brightly lighted lit, lighted within between six of the strangest beings he had ever seen twentieth century to modern to nineteen oh one to present nineteen eighty eight no nineteen oh eight Siberia a mysterious fireball exploded over Tuskenia in Siberia creating shock waves fell Miles of away in setting to 1,200 acres of fire. In 1927, Russian scientists first visit the site of the blast. They find no meteorite fragments, but discover unusually high levels of radioactivity, radioactivity in Tuskegee. So, circulation centers on the theory this crippled alien spacecraft's nuclear reactor exploded on impact. This incident is thought to be the first modern crash by alien spacecraft. 1915, Hill 60. During World War One, a regiment of the British Army, the 1st, 4th, Norfolk, disappeared, attempted to take Hill 60, settled at Bailey and Gallipoli. In front of 22 witnesses, the regiment, over, over 800 men, marched in a strange formation to Lunar Lucica Clouds, hovering over Hill 60. It was never seen again. Post is missing, the regiment was thought to be captured. After the war, British deterred the Derwin. Britain determined the return of the regiment. Demanded the return of the regiment. The Turks denied any knowledge of the, the, its regiment's existence. No traces of the regiment has ever been found. 1930, Star Child Skalal is found. Japan, 1940. When flying over Japan, Wing Commander Deiji Blakesley sighted an object described as having green, green and white lights. The craft moves rapidly to escape detection. Benetti was guided by, to the ground by grain radar. He is reported to be stable and reliable. The Air Force officially ruled the sighting to be Jupiter. Solomon Islands, 1942. Sergeant Stephen Brickner, U.S. Marine Corps, witnessed a strongly UFO formation. He estimated the number around 150 craft, all arranged in rectangle. Rectangle. The formation was 15 craft long, 10 deep. February 24th, 25th, 1942, Los Angeles, California. Enemy aircraft was said to have entered LA. The military didn't manage to shoot it down. They later declared it was an aircraft, to be aircraft. Some people believe it was a UFO. USA, 1942, Los Angeles, California. In February 1942, UFO was reported by near Los Angeles, California. Paul T. Collins was one of the main reporting witnesses who seen the UFOs. He described them as lights, moving in a strange manner. It's always so reports that other witnesses stating they had seen extremely large UFOs around the same time as Mr. Collins. Italy, 1947. August 1947, Italian artist by the name of Rizzo Bass, Rizzo and Genonis, was taking a legendary walk in the mountains between Italy and New Yugoslavia. He saw just in front of him a red glowing saucer. The saucer was about 30 feet wide, accompanied by two small dwarf-like creatures. These creatures had very small heads, 
very large heads, green faces, sort of resembling that of a fish. It also a circle round each eye. Apparently, one of the creatures had hit Jonas with an electrical ray and left him very weak and almost paralysed. After the incident, the crow was ignored Jonas and left. 1947, a UFO crashes in Roswell, New Mexico, according to some. Government claims it to be a water, weather or a balloon. First UFO cover, according to some conspiracy theorists. USA, 1947, Lake Mead, Nevada. On June 28th, while cruising at 6,000 feet, a US Air Force pilot, Lieutenant Armstrong, witnessed six disks flying in formation. USA, 1947, Mount Rainer, WA. On June 24th, Kenneth Arnold was an aerials was on the Illinois search for the crashed C-46 Marine transport plane. We saw nine objects flying in formation. It was witnessed this speed to be at 1,300 to 1,700 miles per hour, distance of 23 miles, and length of formation to be 5 miles. I say at the time was a DC-4, which Arnold used to point of reference to estimate the size of individual, of individual discs. He said the size is two thirds the size of DC four. The sighting was not corroborated by a witness, but it did attach media attention, public interest. USA in nineteen forty seven, White Sands, New Mexico. On June twenty ninth, nineteen forty seven, PC J C J John Zon Station of White Sands Proving Grounds in New Mexico watched this huge Cenozverse disc at a height of ten thousand feet. Above the installation. The sighting was just days after Kenneth Arnold's sighting, which publicised the UFO from another. September 12, 1952, Flatwoods Munster is first sighted. 1952, Verona, Argentina. Hundreds of visitors in Verona, Argentina, witnessed sixties circling above the town, disappearing in the night sky. Sighting was written hours of a similar report from Captain Paul Carpenter, near Denver, Carpenter. Reported the craft was travelling at three thousand feet per hour, making it possible the source had appeared in both locations. Part of culture, the term UFO, or undervised undervised flying object, prefers to suspected alien spacecraft, although its definition encompasses any explained aerial phenomena UFO sightings reported throughout recorded history, various parts of the world, being raising questions about life on other planets and other whether extraterrestrials have visited Earth. They have become major subject of interest before new film behind numerous books and following the development of rockery after World War Two. The fall of fifty nineteen fifty two Hotsfield Goblins are probably encountered September nineteenth, twenty nineteen sixty one. The Grey Aliens possibly deducted Betty and Bernie Hall Hill in the Barney Betty Hill abduction case. Twenty third of ninety May nineteen sixty four. Subway first spaceman is possibly encountered after a picture of Subway Phil Spider-Man spaceman published. A man who took it used said to be visited by men in black. 1965, Flatwoods Monster is sighted. 1966, Point Pleasant Mouth Man sighting began. 1967, Point Pleasant Mouth Man sightings end. November 5th, 1965. Travis Walton is supposedly abducted by grey aliens, taken back days later. 1978, Zavretta's aliens are sighted. 1989, Vosferta's aliens are sighted. September 18th, 1997, Chris and Chris future Russian governor is supposedly abducted by aliens. 2007, Maripic creature is found. 2010, Great Hoax is committed. 2011, at Los Angeles, the footage of Night Caller is taken. December 2014, Carol Area Creatures sighted. 2017, Al is discovered. 2018, Government discloses alien visitation. Earth, false doubt. No doubt is cast.